Hi everyone, I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video on this channel here, but since I have been quarantined for a while now, I decided to redo my living room and I whipped up quite a few DIYs and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this first one here is a large feather boho wall hanging made out of the twigs. I have this beautiful swamp willow in front of my home here. It's lush and it's great, but there is a lot of twigs that comes from it every single week, so I have to pick them up. And I figured I would bring some of it in as a part of my wall decor. So if you already have a hot glue gun, some cardboard, and some string, this whole DIY is essentially free. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, first and foremost, you will need a base. Um, this is gonna be the spine of the feather, which is like the center part. And um, if you look at a real feather, you'll see that same little spine as well. And we all know y'all have a lot of boxes laying around from the constant ordering of stuff. So I uh, just grab one of those boxes and I am just kind of loosely sketching out a spine of the feather. So it's kind of like curved like this and it's tapered at the bottom and thicker at the top. So once you got the spine sketched out, you're gonna go ahead and cut it out. And as you can see, I am totally out of frame here. So uh, my DIY filming skills has been a little rusty lately. And this is what it should look like. Pretty simple. Okay, now you're gonna gather all of your twigs and we are going to start by um, creating the spine of the feather. So try to find a twig that is long enough to match up the cardboard here. It's definitely going to be trial and error and the best way is to find one that is like curving just as much as the cardboard and um, go ahead and lay down some glue and you're just gonna glue the twig to the cardboard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snip about three inches off of the top of the twig. Um, this is going to be a base here and I'm gonna do something a little bit different up there. So I have a reference photo of a couple of feathers that I like here. Um, so I'm gonna try to just recreate the center one and pretty much I take all of my twigs and I'm just snipping them out um, in different lengths and different thickness as well. As you may know, a twig can be very thick at the base and then very, very tapered out at the end there. And so I'm using some of the, the end pieces as the bottom part of the feathers to create that like feathery, more light, airy look. Look. So as you can see here, I pretty much placed the glue on the side of the main twig, which is the, the shaft of the feather. And then I went ahead and I just placed the tiny little twigs on top of the glue. And it's gonna be um, a little work intensive here, but you know, put on a podcast, relax, chill out, and, uh, and just clip twigs and glue them to cardboard. So how I did this, and I think it's visually easier to kind of like see the whole feather, and it's by actually adding some hairs to the top of the feather first, and then now I'm adding some of the twigs to the middle part of the feather, and then as you can see, I transitioned down to the very bottom. By doing it in sections of thirds like this, I feel like first of all, um, I'm kind of reusing all the twigs that I have already on hand, and then I can have a better idea of what kind of twigs I need to pick up on my next foraging adventure. And um, also, it kind of gives you more movement. You're not feeling kind of stiff in going one direction. You're working in sections here, and if you think about the feather, it's very flowy. Not every single hair is you know perfectly trimmed. So, um, and it's just easier to work this way where you can visually see the greater picture also right here you see I'm using thicker twigs but then I actually end up gluing thinner ones right on top of it so it gives it a little bit more dimension so this way I don't feel like I'm confined to one size of twigs especially if you're starting to run low on them you know Okay, so for the top part of the feather here, I just grabbed a couple of bigger twigs and I kind of glue it down vertically like so. So this project took me about a good week to do because you know, I was collecting the twigs, I would come back, I'd trim them up and then I would glue it down and then I would go back and pick up more twigs and then come back and so it was kind of like ongoing. It wasn't something that I did in one sitting, which is totally fine because every time I came back to it, I had a better perspective on how I want my feather to look. Okay, so some final touches on the feather. I create a big loop out of twine that I had in my craft room. If you have a ribbon, string, um, anything laying around, just use that instead. And I glue it to the back and then I take the twine and I just wrap it around the base again. So it kind of covers up the twigs. 
And then down the spine of the feather, I went ahead and add some glue on both sides and then I took the twine and I kind of just outlined the spine a little bit just so that it stands out from all of the, the hairs or the, the twigs on either side of the feather. Okay, so when I hung this thing up, I realized that I didn't like the loop-de-loop -loop in the back, so I just trimmed that off and I hung it without the, um, the loop. So that is there. If you want to use the loop to hang your feather, if not, you can omit it. So that's kind of like what it looks like at the end. But yeah, I stuck a bow on it and uh, then I just hang it on the wall with one nail and I think it looks great. It really complements my living room and uh, I don't know, it was essentially free and I, I totally dig it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you're gonna try this out, please shoot me a photo to my Instagram, HeyKL, and I would love to see your little twiggy artwork. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.